Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Saurabh Agarwal from Informatica Cloud Product Management Team. And today I will show you a new offering which is coming as part of uh, Informatica Cloud Spring 2019 release, which we call R32. Uh, so today's video is going to focus on how file listener would be able to trigger task flows. So till now task flows could be invoked either as an API or could be run from the workspace. But now with R32 release, file listeners would be able to trigger the task flows based upon the events configured in the file listener. So let's look at how do we create a file listener first. Uh, let me show you one such file listener. So here is one file listener which is already enabled and running on an agent and out of the various connections uh, that are available to file listener I have chosen the local folder which means that it's going to look for a file arrival, update or a delete of a file in a specific folder on the local file system and there are ways to configure the listener rules for example you can configure the folder path where uh, the file listener can monitor the arrival update or deletion of a file you can also provide a wildcard character it could be a wildcard character or a regex then you can also uh, give a file pattern and you can configure the property uh, wherein you can instruct the file listener to look for files in subfolders as well like I mentioned earlier, the events could be either an arrival of a file or update or delete of a file. Uh, in this demo, I'm going to show you how the arrival of a file is being taken care of. There are a bunch of other properties uh, which could be used in file listener, uh, which we can discuss further in the future videos. There is also a schedule that can be defined for a file listener uh, to define the cadence of execution of file listener. Here we have defined a daily cadence, uh, start down some date and keep on running indefinitely and poll every 15 seconds. So that was the file listener. You can uh, save a file listener, you can start the file listener. Uh, this file is already running. So let me close this one first. And now let me show you a task flow which would be triggered by this file listener. Okay. So here you see a task flow uh, in which we have a new binding type defined. So till recently we only had uh, the binding type defined as rest or soap uh, for uh, task flow to be invoked as an API. Now the binding type event is also available and when you do that you can choose, choose the event source name and when you do so it is going to drop down all the file listeners which are available in the context of your IACS environment. So I have chosen the file listener that we just saw. Uh, obviously there are uh, there's an input field which comes in by default as part of choosing a file listener it will contain the files which have arrived or updated or has been deleted. In our, con in our case, it's going to be just the files which have arrived. And obviously we have a temporary field here because we have a, a data task available called run mapping. So the use case is that the file listener started and the file has been dropped into a, into a location. And then there would be an assignment task which would take the input, uh, the source file name which has arrived on a local file system and then assign it to the rare task. The rare task internally is calling an MCT called R32 demo MCT. So let me show you that. And this MCT is a pass through MCT uh, in which both source and target are parameterized. We are looking at the source parameterization here. And then uh, let me also show you the underlying mapping. And the mapping is a pass through mapping as you can see here, where both the source and target have been parameterized. So what we will do now is we will drop a file onto the file system which is being monitored by the file listener. So I will drop a file here, online drill event 1.csv and that should have triggered the task flow. So let's look at the monitor here. Uh, let's look at the file transfer logs. You would notice the file listener is already running. Uh, let's look at the events being published by the file listener. Uh, you would notice that there's a new event being published because a new file uh, called event1.csv has been created. Let's look at the running jobs. You can see a task flow running here as well. Now let's look at the subtask. The task was succeeded and you would see the mapping configuration task logs here. Uh, 
and you would notice that the source file name has been correctly passed here okay that's all for today thank you